just like I said before, MGTO is self-destructing itself because it doesn't know where to stand or what to do and how to face situations. Now they've come out with this terminology called Red Pill Rage. So today we're going to talk about, in full detail, what the Red Pill Rage really is. You see, they like to make you think that when they wake up from the Matrix and they finally realize that everything is full of crap, that you generate a rage called the Red Pill Rage, that you wake up from the Matrix while you take the Red Pill and therefore you become outraged, simply because seeing the world around you and how it really is. Wrong. Red Pill Rage already starts when the trauma happens. Then when they wake up out of the system and realize there is a matrix, they become outraged for the simple fact that everybody is taking part of the matrix. That they'd rather destroy themselves than sit there and better their lives and change the world for the better. That is a decent, righteous rage to have. That is actually saying that Jesus Christ himself, while he flipped over the money changers tables, had a, a mig toe red pill moment. Bullshit. He was the rage. He is that righteousness. Don't you ever sit there and call righteousness a rage, you sick, del deluded motherfuckers. That really ticked me off. And I'm talking about Stardust here, who's come out with the terminology of red pill rage. I know you all think that I have a lot of it. You're damn right I do. But it's not because, oh, I woke up from the Matrix and figured out that everything was against me. Get real. I'm angry that the world is accepting the Matrix and rather live in it than, than instead of living in freedom. That's why I'm upset. I'm upset because you'd rather get rid of my God than believe in my God. That's why I'm upset. I'm upset that you'd rather let the whole world go to hell instead of fixing it. That's why I'm upset. Does that sound like I have anything to do with waking up from the fucking Matrix and seeing that everybody's around me is still sucked in the Matrix? No! Because then I go out and make videos that try to help people wake up from the Matrix. But now I'm quite angry because I've heard this stupid red pill this rage bullshit for too many times now. Why are you trying to destroy yourselves? Why are you trying to actually turn it into something like roid rage? Where you actually declare that if you take roids, if you take steroids, that you'll get a, a rage buildup inside of you. Is that what you're trying to do now? Are you trying to associate MGTO now with roid rage? Knock it off! Anybody that comes waking up out of the matrix, anybody that just wakes up is going to have problems adjusting to it. That doesn't mean that they have ra rage right away. What's the matter with you? Psst. Red pill rage. What a joke. What a fucking joke. Because you stand for righteousness and think that women are completely out of hand lately and they need to be controlled and dominated and put back into their place. You consider that to be rage? Are you out of your fucking minds? That's not rage, folks. That's simple wanting to have the way life is supposed to be. That's wanting to have life the way it was designed and created. And demanding to have that basic human right. Because it is a basic human right. To be married, to have a family, to have kids, to have a job, is a basic human right that has been stripped from you. And that does not make you somebody who's a red pill rager. That makes you somebody who stands up for righteousness. And those two should not be confused together. They shouldn't even have anything to do with each other. Righteousness and rage look a lot alike, but one stands up for the truth, the other one just backs down and is angry at everything. If you stand up in this world for the truth, you are not somebody who's just a rager. You are somebody who stands up for righteousness. The shaming tactic, man, that is a true shaming tactic upon all MGTOWers to call him a red pill rager. Like they're taking steroids and getting embroid rage off of it. That's disgusting. How can you as a MGTOW even say such a thing? Come up with such a terminology. Are you completely that s psycho and anal that you would bother to take your time to figure out what this thing is and then give it a terminology name? Oh, red pill rage? Jeez, man. Jeez. What's the matter with you all? It's not a symptom. It's not an illness. Some people have a hard time adjusting stepping out of the matrix. Yes. And they do have the rage. Yes. But what comes after the rage is like I've always said to you, it's like becoming a Super Saiyan 2. You go through the rage to reach the higher place. You don't stay in the rage. The only people that stay in the rage are the ones that understand the world will never change unless they continuously stay in the rage to make the change. As a matter of fact, I think that the people really come alive the best and really do their best work when they are inside of that waking up stage, when they're coming out of that rage. 
That's when they make the best videos. That's when they say what's on their mind. That's when they don't hide in fear. And there's other people that belittle them, like uh, Stod does, who belittles the other people for making commentary. That, 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 that's shaming tactics, folks. Now men are using shaming tactics on other men. What the fuck? That's disgusting. And it's seriously offensive. <laughs> red pill rage. Give me a break. There's nothing red pill rage about it. That's, that's really saying that when you wake up from the Matrix, you realize life is shit, the, the legal system is against you, everything's fucking hard against you, so you're going to uh, go out and blow up in anger. That's like, that's, what's, that, what's that stupid shooter's name again? The Santa Barbara shooter? I forgot his name. That's like saying that every Mikto is a Santa Barbara shooter. Ready to go off, ready to cap someone's ass. Give me a break. It's called righteousness. Learn the difference between rage and righteousness, you idiots.